Hey gang, hard to believe that we are already a quarter of the way through the semester. This is week four of media management for spring 2019. Um, hope you got a lot out of the first two chapters dealing with leadership and motivation. Those case studies, those are designed to help you dig in a little bit more, really put some thought into the concepts um, and see if you can apply them. So I'm looking forward to reading through those this week and see what you came up with dealing with uh, May and, and her issues with Charles and um, those of you who did the the uh, cases for uh, chapter two, deal, you know, and then looking at um, how they handled convergence and what you thought about the movie that you watched dealing with leadership. So looking forward to reading those. This week, we shift gears into the workforce, which is where you're going to put your leadership skills and your motivational skills into work. Uh, we're talking about chapter three. Um, we'll be talking about the changing media environment. You know, it used to be that if you were a newspaper reporter and you learned how to write for a newspaper, that was it. Well, now you're going to need to know something about social media. You might need to know something about shooting video. If you work in the film industry, okay, well, do I go ahead and go to a major distributor or do I want to start releasing on YouTube? You know, what are the different ways that we're going to get our message out there and how do we utilize our workforce? And as we're looking for people to hire, what skill sets do they have and how do we keep adapting those? You're going to need to be thinking about things like diversity and things like salary and making sure you have some equitability there. Um, you want to look at hiring strategies and how you go about finding the most skilled and the most talented workers. Do you want somebody fresh out of college who may not have as much experience but is really gung-ho and really excited about working? Or do you need somebody who is much more experienced but, you know, you may have to use your motivational skills a little bit more to get them motivated and get them going. Um, and then we're also going to talk about interpersonal dynamics. So... Those of you who've had interpersonal communication and had that course, you're going to get to put those pieces together. And how do we work with these creative people who come from different places who are trying to reach the same goal? So that'll be some of what we talk about this week in Chapter 3, dealing with workforce, and then next week as we get into the case study. All right. Have any questions, let me know. Have a great week.